morning, ESM. I'm Chris. Today is Monday. Here are your top news stories. Good morning, ESM. Here are your top stories for today. Amazon has opened a delivery station in Duet on Kirkville Road, a move that will allow the company to ship products to its central New York customers more quickly. The company says that this building will create more than 100 full-time jobs, paying $15 per hour. A much larger warehouse is also opening in Liverpool, which will employ over 1,000 people. Both stations are designed to accommodate Amazon's new electrical vehicles. To celebrate the launch, the company made a $1,500 donation to the Duet Rotary Club Spring Basket Fundraiser, which supports local families and youth programs within the East Syracuse area. 19-year veteran police officer Christopher Wells has been suspended from the Long Branch Police Department. Wells has been charged with criminal offenses of possessing and manufacturing meth, along with endangering the welfare of a child. Wells was reported on Saturday for causing domestic disturbance. When police arrived, they had found chemicals, instruments, and books that all related to making meth and other poisons. The police also found weapons, including two long guns, four handguns, eight high-capacity magazines, and a lot of ammunition. Walls will be facing decades of time in prison. Sunday, Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Maratatu defended his country's continuing airstrikes, arguing that Israel will do whatever it takes to restore order and having, bringing an end to the attacks by Hamas in an interview with Face the Nation. The Palestinian Ministry of Health reports more than 180 Palestinians have been killed in the clashes, including 52 children with another 1,200 in injured. Eight Israelis have been killed, including two children. Conflict between Israel and the Palestinians are at their most deadly in years, with the most recent outbreak of violence starting in East Jerusalem earlier this month. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention juniors, it is time to make your appointment to have your senior picture taken for next year's yearbook. Senior pictures need to be taken during the summer and they need to, be, need to follow the yearbook's guidelines to be accepted. You can Find all of the information to senior pictures at our website, esmyearbooks.org, or talk to your parents or guardians without making your appointment now. Free senior picture sessions are available in the auditorium by appointment only in June and July. A letter and an email was also sent home. If you have any questions, contact yearbook at esmschools.org. International Honor Society is hosting a, a blood drive tomorrow, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the small gym to honor Olivia G. Olivia C. Olivia's mom spoke to, to us about her condition four years ago. So today we have um, Olivia's mom, this is Camiso, on air. So we're going to ask her a couple questions about Olivia and her condition and why giving blood is just so important. So our first question is, could you explain Olivia's condition and why um, getting blood transfusions is so important to her well-being? Yes. So Olivia was born with, it's called beta thalassemia major. So her body does not produce normal red blood cells. Um, the hemoglobin that she produces is abnormal, so her body cannot use it efficiently. And then her body also breaks those red cells down more quickly than normal. Um, her body cannot compensate for that loss, so blood transfusions essentially keep her alive. Okay, so how much blood is needed for blood transfusion? So typically in an adult, you would see them get two pints of blood, so one donation is a pint. So in a, an adult patient, it would be two pints of blood, but in a pediatric patient, it would be anywhere from a half a pint to a pint of blood. Okay, so um, how's Olivia doing now with all the blood transfusions? She's doing really well. She's, you know, she's alert. She's very active. She's a typical two-year-old. Um, you would never know that anything is wrong with her, that she has a blood condition. Um, so we have our donors to thank for that. That is so great. Well, you can see here like how important it really is. To register for the blood drive, please visit redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code ESMHS to find the blood drive and reserve your spot. Please email Mr. Mussolino at jmussolino at esmschools.org with any questions.
Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 77 and a low of 49 degrees. Today will be nice. Today will be a nice day with lots of sun and a possibility of some afternoon showers. Tonight will be mostly clear with little to no rain. Tuesday will have a high of 80 and a low of 51 degrees. And Tuesday will still be nice with some warm breezes and a good blend of sun and clouds. Wednesday will be a bit warmer than Tuesday with a high of 83 and a low of 56 degrees, having unseasonally warm weather. And I'm Grayson with your weather. The boys track team stayed undefeated with a 71-69 win over Oswego to improve their record to 5-0. Clinching point, the clinching points were in three of the events as Aiden Hurt won the 200, Daniel Tolver got third in the 200, Makai Combs got a third in a high jump, John Hollihan got second in the 3200, and Austin Gott got a third in 3200 as well. The girls track team also stayed undefeated blowing out Oswego 106-34. Rhiannon Butchko won all of her events and is three inches away from breaking the girls' school high jump record of 5'6". Kaylee Maloof also came in first place in all of her events, including hurdles, pole vault, the 4x1, and a triple jump. Riley King also won the 100-meter dash, and Mary Roach won the 3200 as well. Congrats to senior Aiden Finnery, who was selected as a member of the All-CNY Boys Volley Team. The team is voted on by all the coaches in Section 3 as it combines both divisions as the top players in the area. This is an incredible achievement as Aiden was the only player from ESM's division to make this team as the field was dominated by CNS, Liverpool, and FM players. In the NBA, with the Portland Trailblazers beating the Denver Nuggets last night, the Trailblazers clinched the sixth seed in the playoffs. It also pushes the defending champions, the Los Angeles Lakers, to the seventh seed and they will play the 8th seed of Golden State Warriors in the play-in tournament on Wednesday. The New York Knicks cl also clinched their fourth, the 4th fourth seed and home court advantage with their one over the Celtics. In upcoming games, the SM boys and girls track meet have a meet at Central Square at 5. Girls golf plays against Oswego, Auburn in Central Square at JD at 4. Boys baseball plays against West Hill at 5. And girls softball also plays West Hill at 5 as well. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Thank you for watching the show. So from me and everyone here on The Morning Show, have a great day.